Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. If this video doesn't end up completely ruining your day, please click that like button. Alright, you are a week into Unturned, and you have a decent base built that gets raided like twice a day. But besides that, life is pretty good. You have a list of players that you think are the ones raiding you, and you are hell-bent on revenge. You are over here like, You bastards won't get away with this! Your base will look like the Hindenburg by the time I'm done with it! Should we be joking about the Hindenburg? Probably not. But anyway, you have a storage character that you placed all your charges on, and it's finally time to bring out the explosives. After grabbing 10 of your finest charges and your favorite teammate, you head on out. You pass by a bunch of smaller bases, but you sure as hell aren't going to raid a small base. Big base, big loot. Eventually you stumble upon a metal base that's like 20 by 20 by 20 or something like that. You think, perfect. You've heard that raiding from the top down is the best, so you spend an hour chopping trees to plate up and drop down on the top of their base. It's time. Raiding time. You start sieging this piece of crap with charge after charge, progressing through their base to the innermost portion that must hold their loot room. Just when you are three stories into their base, you realize shit, how the hell do we get out of here? You don't have enough charges to blow out the side of the base and you have no idea what to do. This is you getting stuck in your first base pit and it sucks donkey dick. You convince your raiding buddy to suicide and go get more charges because hell, you started this group and you'll be damned if you end up being the base bitch. You spend 20 minutes shitting yourself, praying that the owner of this giant base doesn't log on before your raiding buddy returns. He brought 20 more charges and the rocket launcher. You didn't tell him to bring the damn rocket launcher. You took you 20 hours of grinding the dead zone to find that fucking thing, and he just brings it on the raid like it's no big deal. Whatever, the rocket launcher is here. Might as well use it. Now you're blasting through this base even faster than before until you destroy a floor, drop down, and get clapped by a sentry gun holding a dragon fang. You honestly didn't know sentry guns were in the game. You start the 10 minute walk back to the base you're raiding, but this time you got smart. You bring a bed along so you don't have to respawn so damn far away. Your loot is at the bottom of this pit, a pit containing a sentry gun with a dragon fang. The dragon fang holds 150 rounds, and since you have no way of destroying the sentry, you start jumping down with your buddy, trying to cycle loot each time as you bleed the sentry dry. After half the crap despawns because you weren't able to cycle it, cycle it quickly enough, you finally bleed the sentry dry. It's game time. Back to raiding, damn it. You start thinking to yourself, how the hell hasn't this base owner logged on yet? As you resume blowing the shit out of the base. It's been three hours and the only items of value that you've discovered so far are an industrial gas can, three crates of sport shop magazines, and a giant squid. Finally, you blast through what seems like the thousandth floor and BAM! Loot room. Took you damn long enough. You go crazy blasting through everything, barely looking at the loot you're getting. It's your first loot room and you've lost your mind. When the dust settles, you are sitting there with your raiding buddy, neck deep in loot, without a plan to get all this crap back to your base. You say, to hell with it. You grab all the charges, explosives, night vision, and Alice packs you can hold, and you start heading home. The walk home ends up being the scariest walk of your life. Every time you hear a gunshot, you nearly shit yourself. You have task manager open to force close unturned if you see someone with a gun. Eventually you make it home, hang up your piss stained pants, and call it a night. You just had your first successful raid. Did you use three times as many explosives as you recovered? Yup, but next time will be better, and you won't let most of the loot despawn. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.